Hey guys, Steve here from Nostalgia, putting together another PlayStation Classic video. Uh, with the PlayStation Classic hacks that have been coming out, you've got Bleem Sync, and now you can run RetroArch as well. Uh, there's been some modifications that are being able to be done on the Bleem Sync portion of the hack that allows you to actually change the theme in which the game carousel is displayed. Uh, I was able to find a really awesome uh, theme that somebody put together for Metal Gear Solid and I've got that right here so I'm gonna give a shout out to Landon Barton uh, from Reddit who put this together so if you see this is kind of what it looks like uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install that and load it up onto your build so that way you can actually see it he did a really great job he's also done a Final Fantasy 7 one I believe um, but I'm a big fan of Metal Gear Solid so I think that's the one I'm gonna do for this video but uh, great work it looks fantastic so big, big shout out to you, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, so all we need to do is click on this link right here where he's got him posted and it'll take you to a, um, a Google Drive, which has both the Final Fantasy theme as well as the Metal Gear Solid theme. Uh, we're going to be downloading the Metal Gear Solid theme. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on that and I'm going to download it. And I'll be sure to leave a link to this, uh, to this page directly in the, uh, in the, in the description part of the video. So... I'm going to save that right to my desktop here and it's not very big. It'll go ahead and download and we're good to go. Uh, next, I've got it right here. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to extract it into its own folder. And then I've also got my USB drive plugged in already into my computer. So I'm going to need to pull that up. So I'm going to go ahead and find that and there's my Sony drive. So we'll leave that down for now. And now I've got my Metal Gear Solid underscore theme folder. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And inside you're gonna see there's a few different things. So you've got, we'll just open up both side by side. So in the Metal Gear Solid theme folder, you've got uh, a file here for Mac. So if you're running Mac, he did include a support for that. Uh, you've got your payload folder, you've got an LOL hack folder, and then you've got your theme folder. And the readme is just your, your instructions. We're not gonna be using those cause I've already gone through and uh, verified how to do everything. And then on the left hand side of the screen, I've got my uh, USB drive. So what we need to do first off is we need to open up in the Metal Gear Solid folder, the LOL hack folder, and inside there's the script for the LOL hack. You're going to right click on that and you're going to edit that in Notepad++. Sorry, I've got that right over here. So there it is. The next thing that we need to do, you can see in here, you've got um, a little bit of coding here. Uh, some people have said what you need to do is you need to drag it and replace it. But if you do that, you're going to lose your, your build for the dual boot. So you don't want to do that. On your USB stick, you're going to double click on your LOL hack folder. And you'll notice there's a lot of different scripts in there. You want to find your LOL hack script. You're going to right click it. And you're going to open that as well in Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, I will include a link in the description as well for you guys to download that. But I've got them now both open. So right now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to open them up side by side. So the Notepad++ box that I've got open on the left side is on my USB stick, the existing one that is for our hack. The one on the right side is going to be for the Metal Gear Solid theme. What we want to do is we want to copy from line three down to line nine. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. And on we're going to paste that directly into our... Um, into our LOL hack script on our USB. So I'm going to create a couple spaces and I'm gonna paste this on line three as well. And you're gonna notice, so you've got your, um, your hashtag bin slash script and then you've got a space and then you've got the lines of code that we just pasted in. And then for line number 10, there's a space and then all of the other coding that was already in that file. Next, we need to save it and that's it. We're done and we are done with that. Now we've got to go back to our Metal Gear Solid theme folder and we've got to select our theme folder and we've also got to select the payload folder. And we're going to go ahead and copy those. Oh, I've got to back out into here. Did I paste them in there? No. Okay. Sorry, I just uh, made duplicates here. I'm just gonna get rid of those. Okay, so now we are back into our main folder, um, or the root of our folder. We're gonna copy the theme folder and the payloads folder over. And it's gonna go ahead and send everything over. Now it's going to ask us if we want to replace 
uh, the payload file inside of the this loop data dot bin. We want to replace it because it's going to have all the proper information that we need. But other than that, we're done. The theme is now loaded. And what we need to do next is we need to take our USB drive out of our computer and we need to plug it into our um, PlayStation Classic and we need to power cycle it. So you need to pull the power cord out. You got to wait five or so seconds plug the power cord in after the USB is already in slot number two and then power it on. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that over so you guys can check out this new theme. All right, guys. So as you can see, when you turn on your PlayStation Classic, it's going to take you straight into your boot menu. So you still have access to RetroArch as well as Bleem Sync. For the purposes of this, we're going to check out that theme that we installed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Bleem Sync button. And you're going to see right away the um, the health and safety warnings that pop up are already different. So you can see that there's a little bit of the Metal Gear Solid theme that's there. And once that's gone, you're going to see the carousel pop up and you're going to see everything else that's kind of there. The really neat thing about the theme, uh, the way that this gentleman had... Um, designed it is he's changed all the audio on everything too. So the audio that you're going to hear when I scroll through the carousels and go through the settings are all from the Metal Gear Solid game. So it's a, it's a really cool theme. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my mic so that way you guys can actually hear the um, the carousel kind of spinning and you can hear all of the, uh, the different sound effects that he's Im implemented. So give me one sec here. So that's it guys, that is the uh, the theme and that's how to install them. If you browse around on the internet, I'm sure you'll be able to find a ton of different themes that have already been created. Um, I just, out of all the ones that I've seen so far, I do happen to like this one the best and I think that's mostly because uh, I'm a big Metal Gear Solid fan. So uh, I just figured it would be a good, uh, good option for me to install and it was a, a relatively quick and easy uh, modification to do to your build and it just kind of gives it a little bit more personality so um yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, again, big thanks to the uh, Reddit user who created this specific theme. It looks really good. It looks awesome, and it runs really nicely. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I've got lots more videos coming out, but uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks a lot.